Film fans of YouTube, hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, your movie apprentice with a bit of a sore throat, but as it is finally releasing today, I am here to talk about Bradley Cooper's sophomore effort, Maestro. This follows the story of composer Leonard Bernstein and his wife from his big break in composing to his waning years. This is a film that I was really looking forward to. I was a huge fan of A Star Is Born, which was Bradley Cooper's initial effort. In fact, it was my favorite movie of that year for a while. With this sophomore effort, I was looking forward to seeing Bradley Cooper really flex his muscles after being robbed of some well-deserved Oscar wins. Before I get into my review, if you do like what you're seeing on the channel, do consider clicking that like button and subscribe for more reviews like this coming all the time. But without further ado, Let's review this. So Maestro, it's one of those movies that seems to be very much Marmite when it comes to the critical reception so far. I will say that for me, there is a lot to enjoy in Maestro. For example, it proves two things. Bradley Cooper is an amazing actor and a phenomenal director. He directs the hell out of this with some amazing set pieces an initial dance sequence on his first date with his wife to a emphatic wanna that takes place in the cathedral. There is a lot in this movie that really gets you going as a creative. Carrie Mulligan as well is phenomenal as the wife of Leonard Bernstein in this. Even those that have not liked this movie have said she is hands down a powerhouse in this and the keyword in there is powerhouse she eats up every scene she's in her performance her emotional connection to leonard bernstein and the very complicated relationship is really well executed quite frankly for me she is probably my front runner for best actress going into award season but that could change in due course there's still a few films that are yet to come out in the uk Cheers, silly distributions. For me, the big problem is, whilst Bradley Cooper is a great actor and a phenomenal director, that's kind of where the problems come in because he knows it. This film feels like he took the loss for the Oscar for Best Actor to Rami Malek personally and decided, I'm going to go out and prove that the awards people were wrong. And this film screams Oscar bait. There is always that one film that comes out that feels like it is made to try and appeal to the Academy. And this film very much feels like it. There are scenes where you could almost feel Bradley Cooper screaming through the screen saying, give me all the awards for my amazing direction and my amazing acting. It's an odd one for me because I went in this really, really, really wanting to like this. But for me, I was a bit deflated. And I think for me, that is because whilst stylistically it's great and some of the performances are absolutely phenomenal this film lacks substance for me to really sink my teeth into this follows composer leonard bernstein and all i know about leonard bernstein before watching this movie is his reference in it's the end of the world as we know it going into this i went in completely blind wanting to learn about this composer it doesn't feel like I got to learn anything about this man apart from that he was a tortured genius that slept with a lot of people and was shocked whenever his wife was really mad about it. And quite frankly, I'm getting sick of seeing the tortured genius that is all sucked up into his work and has to go sleep around. Isn't it? We've not had that many of those sorts of characters, but it does feel like I have seen this before. And I don't know anything about him besides that i have no doubt they probably did truly love his wife i would love to learn a bit more about him i want to go into a biopic and learn more about the person that i could find on a wikipedia page and this film does not deliver that for me i don't know what got leonard bernstein into composing it starts off with his big break how long did he have to grind for that big break do they ever address his style of composing and why he was such this big genius that composed the original West Side Story, for example. None of that. It flies through a lot of his life in a bullet point scenario. And whilst I admit that the prosthetics on him are really good, I highly anticipate this might win best makeup because 
making an actor look like the actual person they're playing with prosthetics always seems to get the big win when it comes to the best makeup effects but outside of the good effects and some very stylistic entertaining sequences there's just no substance in the film for me which left me with very little to attach myself to in terms of the way it is structured at times it does feel like I'm not getting a real bearing on how much time has passed. And when the film finally does come to its conclusion, it kind of fizzles out. There is especially this really emotional sequence of events that takes place within the final third of the movie. I honestly felt very little on the emotional front, which is a big red flag for me when it comes to the film's quality for me personally because if I'm not feeling something for a character that I have spent the whole film getting to know something's been missed it felt like this film focused heavily on some great set pieces like I say that chapel scene is hands down one of the best scenes I have seen this year it is incredible and the whole sequence leading up to it is really good but the film just feels very indulgent it feels very self-indulgent in the way it is presented there is a whole scene where Kerry Mulligan's character argues with Bradley Cooper who is playing Leonard Bernstein and she literally calls him out in the film and it felt like the film was calling out Bradley Cooper in a way because there was this whole argument of you need to be better and look down on those that you're above there's that whole conversation it is one of the best exchanges in the movie as well but i'm watching it and she was almost reflecting my feelings of watching this movie the score is fantastic it's all in the bernstein original stuff in here there's nothing created from this that wasn't made from the man himself for me it's a biopic and it fails as a biopic there is nothing in this that makes me feel like i really learned much about the guy over there he liked to sleep with everyone and compose sometimes. That's the whole dynamic I got from this. So it's a really weird one from me because there's so much that goes well for this movie. But I am a person that loves stories and the story for me just does not work. Before I get into my grade, if you like what you're seeing on the channel, do consider clicking that like button and subscribe for more video reviews like this coming all the time. Hoping to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Got a couple of weeks left to go. And the growth has been incredible these last few weeks, so thank you very much for that. But without further ado, let's grade this. So Maestro, the sophomore effort from Bradley Cooper for me fell short of the mark. And there are people that will have this in their best of the year list, and there are people that have this in their biggest disappointments list. For me, this film had a lot to like. Kerry Mulligan lives up to the hype. She is absolutely incredible within this movie. There are some fantastic set pieces and character exchanges and one of the best scenes all year in this. Bradley Cooper has shown that he does have phenomenal directing talent, but the way this film screams, look at how amazing I am to me, is something that really drags it down. All the style and the glitz and the glamour and just the way it tries to bait the awards people. It forgot to tell a compelling story for me. And while it might have worked for some people, for me, I just feel like I didn't really get to know much about his character. The relationship that was the core of the movie, I was never able to fully invest in because of the classic talk to genius stereotype that seems to be plaguing films at the moment. And yeah, for me, it was just a very big disappointment, in my honest opinion. Am I being too harsh on the movie? Maybe, but end of the day, it's my channel. I have my own opinions. You have your own opinions. But for me, I'm going to have to say that Maestro is a tea that has too much milk. So Maestro, have you watched it? If you haven't, let me fall down in the comments below. Did you prefer it to A Star Is Born? And is Kerry Mulligan getting that Best Actress Oscar? Let me know in the comments below. But until next time, everybody, my name is Josh. I am the Movie Apprentice, and I'll see you all in the next video.